all right hey guys what's going on um so i thought it'd be kind of cool to show off my bags um i am a union apprentice carpenter and um i work mainly work in concrete forming i work on the concrete side of construction um building uh parking garages and things like that so we do walls and we do flat we do a little bit of everything um and uh, i thought it'd just be cool to show off kind of what i got here uh maybe other apprentices would enjoy seeing this maybe if you're just getting into it to see what you gotta have um so yeah so first things first um i have the occidental seven bag framer um set up um except i don't have it on my actual tool belt and i don't use the hammer loop it comes with but i have all that that's what i uh, bought here i've been running these bags for about two weeks now but i've always ever since i got into the trade i've always used bags set up like this um so the i just don't use the belt because i wear a harness the majority of the time so um yeah so my harness is a a guardian um but uh that's besides the point we're mainly gonna go over the bags here so uh first things first as far as on my tool pouch side um this is the uh the I don't even know what model number this is. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's a seven bag framer setup is how I got it. Um, first things first, my hammer, um, the old elbow killer, 22 ounce S-Twing. A lot of guys swing a 28, but 22 is fine with me. Um, and this first little pouch here, keep a few different things, keep an apex for an impact, some electrical tape in case I get a boo-boo, and a piece of lumber crayon. Um, also carry my chalk box, Milwaukee. Um, chalk box, I love them things. Usually get about three months out of them, and then it's time to throw it away. Uh, keep a pair of pliers on me. Um, in case I got a tie steel. Sorry here, it's kind of hard to get out because I'm still in the breaking period of these things. Um, but yeah, these are just a set of Irwins. I really like Kleins, but um, I bought these in a pinch. So yeah, that's what I've been running with. Um, my razor knife, you gotta have one of these. Um, DeWalt, I really like these. So yeah, you gotta have a good razor knife, no matter what kind of carpentry you're doing. Uh, usually carry a couple pencils right there in those little pencil holders um, and the tape measure pouch here I don't use it for a tape measure I use it for my spud wrench this is actually a scaffold wrench um, this is this isn't the top tool it's the cheaper version you get on Amazon but so far it's been pretty good and I've had it for a little bit now so we build a lot with Miva's Miva um, shoring and stuff like that so uh, yeah it's always handy to have a spud on you um, Three-quarter wood chisel. This one's brand new, um, but I always carry some kind of chisel on me. That's a buck braze. Um, also carry an eight-inch crescent. Uh, this is a husky. They got the lifetime warranty, and they're really good. So that's the ones that I buy for work. Um, so yeah, the, the one thing I don't really like is that tape measure pouch gets in the way. But like I said, I'm still getting used to everything. Um, and the back pouch here, I usually carry uh, pins for the heads of the uh, jacks um, or, you know, pins if I'm doing Simon's panels or, you know, whatever. Um, but right now, I just got a pair of side cutters in there. And then I got my gloves. So that's a Klein 5416. Uh, a lot of guys like those. So if you can get your hands on one, get one. All right. Now, this is the uh, five. I think it's a five pocket, I guess is what they count this thing at. One, two, three, maybe a four, four pocket, not counting the speed scourge slot. Um, so this is really nice because a lot of times you're carrying more than two types of fasteners. Maybe you're carrying uh, screws, 16 pennies, and, a, um, and eight penny nails. So I do that a lot. Um, so right now I just got some... Uh, 16 penny common nails in there um i got some 3 8 drive or i'm sorry yeah 3 8 drive uh legs there and then i got some 16 penny double heads so like i said three different common fasteners uh three or three different types of fasteners 
it's good to have the room. So right up here, this is where I keep my tape measure. 25 foot fat max magnetic if I can get it. I like them, it's kind of handy. Um, I really like to dedicate speed square uh, pouch here. It's where I keep my Johnny square. So that's always really handy. Um, keep an apex or a 5 16 right there. And then um, on the side here, you got a little nice spot to keep your cat's paw. And then this is supposed to be for a combination square, but this is where I carry my drift pin. Put a little golf ball in there, protects your hand, and also gives you a handle um, if you got to turn on something. So, uh, yeah, guys, um, I really like Occidental bags. There's um, a lot of different variants you can go as far as Occidental. Um, you know, chances are, no matter what kind of carpentry that you're in, that makes something for you. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'm out.